Hi there everyone, my name is Dominic and welcome back to the final part of our Cuphead journey. As you can see, we now stand here at the gates of hell. We stand here before the devil. We stand here not to fail, but to prevail. To not be tempted by Satan, but to overcome his temptations. Brothers and sisters, all that our fighting has done has led us to this moment. And we shall emerge victorious. Can I get an amen? Can I get a hallelujah? All right, good. Sorry. Just possessed me. What can I say, all right? Oh, all right, time to fight the devil in one hell of a time. All right, I'm feeling good. I'm ready. I'm rested. There's a lot of Sprite in me. All right, let's do this. Well, well, well. Look how far you've come. Not only did you bust up my good-for-nothing lackey, King Dice, but I see you've got my soul contracts as agreed. Hand them over and join my team. It's very tempting to say yes to this, because you can, but you don't get to, of course, fight the final boss. And also, it's just like a dickish thing to do, quite honestly. Come on, you've done all this work. That said, there are some of these soul contracts I kind of want to hand over because I just don't like those people. Like the train guy and the dragon, they can get fucked. Everyone else I'll set free. It's fine. And is that hypocritical of me? Is that unfair of me? Absolutely. I never said I was a reasonable person. But you know what? We're the good guys. We're Cuphead. We're the name character for a reason. So you know what? No. We're not giving in to the devil. Welching on me, just like all the others, eh? I'll teach you for backing out of a deal. Have at you. All right, let's do this shit. Oh, God. This is another one. That This is a boss that I don't remember all that well, so I imagine it's going to be kind of a nightmare. I also didn't strategically pick any... Uh, okay, oh, okay, I kind of I remember. I didn't strategically pick... Oh, God. Oh, shit any specific uh, weapons for this particular fight, so it may not be that easy. Oh, God. Like that? Fucking forgot about that shit. That's fine. That's fine. All right, just got to jump. Oh, God damn. It's funny because I don't think the devil is the hardest in the game, but he's certainly not. <laughs> I see that. Oh, God, that was abysmal. Certainly not fucking easy. All right. You broke our deal. Now it's my turn to break you. I don't know why I gave him like a southern accent. That sounded a little more like a scary Arthur Morgan kind of voice. Oh, no, no. Okay, okay. I just, okay, so that's, that's survivable. I just need to time that shit right. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. I'm doing the white person in a supermarket sound. Oh, oh, oops. Instead of saying, excuse me. <laughs> Very typical. Oh, okay, okay, come on, come on. Which side are you going to be on? This is basically just that part from the uh, the rat boss when it gets the cat at the end and he puts his paw through, so. I forget the just, okay. All right, all right. Just this opening um, first phase of him is pretty fucking nightmarish. Oh, God. All right, come on, come on. Where are you going? Where are you going? I'm not doing any fucking damage. Oh, God, not the fucking spider. Ah, oh, the spider head thing. I have to say, like, like these are the designs that I expected to be more present in the Cuphead show. Oh, God damn it. And they're really just kind of not. <laughs> Um, especially like just just the kind of creepiness of his design. God damn it! He has so many fucking attacks in that opening section. Holy shit! Oh, all right, let's try that again. But I expected more of the creepiness of this ending because obviously it's not like scary, scary. But like, there's a lot of good kind of freaky details in his design. Oh my god, this is awful. This is awful. As I said, I don't remember this one like almost at all. All right, all right. Oh, oh, fucking hell, man. <sighs> fucking hell indeed, am I right? <laughs> Just me making my little jokey jokes. 
Oh, time that shit wrong. Wait, can I dodge underneath that? I just... Wait a second, am I being stupid? Okay, next time he does that shit, I'm, I'm trying to see if I can dodge underneath it. Because I think I've been trying to jump, like, the, <laughs> this whole time, and I don't actually think I have to. Alright, I just gotta stay moving for this shit. Alright, there we go. Usually he's done by then. Nope! Nope! <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, everything's fine, I'm just... Th this is going great. I'm not getting stuck on this first phase, you are. Don't worry about me, I'm fine. It's okay. I work well under stress and pressure. Um, not so much in a healthy way as much as a coping mechanism because I've gotten used to just existing with stress all the time, so... That's fine, though. That comes in handy like this when I decide to be a, a masochist and play a game this punishing. For fun. For leisure. Just for the lulls, you could say. Alright, there we go. Alright, charge up a big attack, try to hit him with that while I have the chance. Okay, that's already an improvement. I don't know how much more he's going to take, but... Oh, God. Alright. It's fucking hard as hell to uh, to hit in this phase. So I'm just going to use my roundabout to get a lot of extra damage moving around the screen. Oh, shit. Alright. That was better. That was good. We went through that phase a lot quicker. So, what's the next... Oh, shit. It's the fucking... It's these fucking platforms. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Gotta, gotta get to this. Oh, before it explodes... All right, all right, it's fine. Right, axe. God, there's so much shit to worry about. <laughs> oh, Lord. Lord Jesus, help me. Okay, okay, I got that, motherfucker. All right, all right. All right I can do this, I can do this. All right. Yeah, you big crybaby. Come on. These guys are so cool, too. This is one of those, like... Cup is definitely not, like, an expansive enough game for them to ever do it, but, like... Like, man, if we had, like, a little... Uh, a little Disney World, or, like, the Nintendo World they, they're they making, like... For Cuphead... Man, I fucking love that. I know the, the fan base is... God damn it. I know the fan base is not wide enough for that, but... Okay, that wasn't bad. We almost got to his last phase. Anyone who opposes me will be destroyed. I like that he has, like, the melting heads of Cuphead and Mugman in that shot. <laughs> okay, hit you. Oh, dodge that shit. God damn it. It's just, <laughs> this game is just, um, what is that line in Prisoner of Azkaban in the movie where they're, like, reading the tea leaves and, like, look like Harry and Ron are looking it up and <laughs> it's when Ron's like, you're gonna suffer. But you're gonna be happy about it. Like, that's just this whole game is just that sensation of you're just it's just miserable all the way through it, but then you have that that sensation of victory every time you get through it. Very much obviously what people talk about with um the from software games, so though I will say this one does, I too like this so much more. Cause a lot of the world exploration stuff is just I don't find it as interesting in a lot of the from software games as other people do. Um obviously that's not not the most popular opinion, given that it has such a huge fan base. And it's not bad, but I've always thought I like a more narrative structure to it and less of the environmental storytelling. So, And even, like, that's why I like this, because you have just this really simple comic book um, little cartoon strip story to go along with it, which fits, you know? And every little... Um, God damn it. Like, there's so many fine details on all the little individual bosses and how they're designed. Like, all of that adds to it without bogging it down with any sort of, like, serious story of any kind. Which I think would just make it worse. They didn't try to make this... Like, they didn't make you do a bunch of mediocre exploration around a bunch of, like, half-empty levels just to get to the bosses, which is where you want to be in the first place. So, um, I think, yeah, they break it up with the run-and-gun levels, which, you know, kind of give us the classic, you know, this classic side-scroller, you know, Contra. Obviously, all the um, the influences they talk about, uh, the, the creators of the game have talked about before, so. All right, come on, come here, come here, come here. God damn it. 
But I really do appreciate that they didn't bloat the game when they definitely could have. I mean, like, the game got a lot larger as they progressed um, when you listen to, to interviews with the um, the two brothers who, who were the, uh, the creators and, and founders of this game. Okay, there we go. And you definitely can see all the ways that they could have... Uh, you know, filled out the game just for the sake of bloating it or making it larger or whatnot. Um, I think especially with the pressure of there being a commercial interest to it, given that it was getting so much buzz, um, even just from people seeing the initial uh, trailers for it and the announcements, which a lot of which are, you look back at them and they're not even that similar to the final bosses. Many of them were like aggressively redesigned and and made better it looks like by pretty much every every uh margin so but yeah you look at it and you really realize that like every single boss here is is like the the best they had to offer even the ones that have problems you feel like like I, those are forgivable because there are just there's so much else that they're getting right at every single turn so and also, too, even at, like, the quote-unquote worst of times, there's just such a bursting, uh, like, 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 there's so much creativity bursting through the seams of this game at every single moment. Not just in the, the obvious stuff, which is, like, the drawing and the, all the handmade art, obviously, but in the, the animation, the lines, the little puns and jokes. I mean, you can just feel that they were pushing themselves again and again to make this game as good as they fucking could. That's why, God, I am so fucking excited for the DLC for this, let me tell you. Like, just absolutely fucking thrilled about it. Come on. Okay. Alright, get that. I'm doing good, so I'm really fucking focused now. Oh, shit. God damn it, how close was that? Ah, it's right the fuck there. That's fine. Man, the devil really out here with those grippers just out, right? Put those away, sir. Gotcha, okay, okay. Oh, come on, oh, come on, we're so close. Oh, come on, I know he's about to go to that last phase. We're right the fuck there. I'm playing better than I've played probably ever, especially for this fucking boss. Come on, come on. Oh, come on. Come on, switch to that last fucking phase, you motherfucker. Oh, god damn it. Oh, he was even in his, like, ending animation for that last part. <laughs> god damn it. It's fine. You know what? It's fine. I'm feeling good. It's so funny. For as frustrating as the lead-up to this game, like, or lead-up to the, the ending of this game can be with all the different bosses, I'm always still so excited to get to here because it's always such a good journey all the way through this game, so. Oh. And I'm always sad when we when I get to the devil boss here at the end because I just have such a good time playing that I really, a lot of times, I it's a rare game that I don't want to end. Like, I just want there to be more bosses and more to challenge me. What's that said, I cannot tell you how fucking thrilled I am for the, the DLC coming out, which from the looks of it looks like pretty decently sized, like, I feel like maybe they didn't want to push it and say it's like a sequel as much as it is DLC, but with that said, from what I can see, like, it looks like they're putting, they put in a lot of fucking work and built quite a lot of new material just for, uh, for the, for the new content for it, so I, I can't tell you how excited I am for that, that's definitely one I'm gonna be playing and recording me playing that game as soon as it comes out. Like, just, just the instant I can download that shit, I will be there at midnight recording it if I have to. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to try a new strategy for this section. I'm going to save up my super attack instead of using it. So that way, hopefully, when it gets to that third phase, which I am consistently taking damage on, uh, hopefully when it gets around to that, then I have, I can, I can chip away at his health in that third phase way, way, way faster. So, I'm just gonna mind my business here, stay on the sides. There we go, there we go. Wait for one of these fucking minions to show up. Because then I can use it also to take them out like that. There we go, there we go. Because they're so, oh, they make it so much harder. So if I can take them out, wait, wait, oh, come on, we're so close, come on, start crying. C 
come on, let me see those devil tears. No! Oh shit, I really cannot afford to lose in health right now. Fuck! No! Fuck, 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 fuck. One hour later. Alright, let's fucking do this, alright? I've been doing this for such a long time. I'm so fucking tired. But you know what? We're gonna do it. We're gonna get through this shit, alright? I've persevered too long to put this down. I've been doing this for like... God. I don't know how long the other video will be, but this is like, it's been like two hours on just this boss. Which, you know what, I shouldn't know, this this one always takes so fucking long. The couple other times I've gone through the game, so it's fine though. I finally, I've gotten through to the final stage, the emotional final stage of uh, the Cuphead experience. Because the final stage is, is acceptance, it's the same as grief, alright? You just kind of go, yeah, yeah, this is, uh, this is what's happening, I can't control it, and that's fine. You know what? Oh, look at this shit though, we're doing good. We're doing good because again, because I've accepted it, so I'm not even stressed right now, it's fine. Whatever happens, happens. We do a bunch of damage here. I think I'm gonna get about to get him to his teary-eyed phase, so. There we go. Oh shit, yeah, here we go. Let's fucking do it. Come on, come on. Come on, you fucker. Let's finish this. Let's finish this shit. Fuck you! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy fuck, guys. Okay, well, we did it. Look, there you go, all right? It's funny, right as that was about to happen, I had the dumbest jokes I was gonna say. You think they call that last stage, the devil may cry? <laughs> it's like one in the morning right now. <laughs> but you know what? It's okay. Here, oh, yes, let's do our, our final chapter of our Cuphead journey. The brothers had triumphed over the demon, forcing him to finally give up. We shall accept your surrender, devil, Cuphead laughed, but we're not done just yet. And with that, Cuphead and Mugman destroyed all of the soul contracts, releasing Inkwell Isle's residents from the eternal servitude to the devil. Gosh, I can't wait to tell everybody, Cuphead said. The boys set off home and at top speed. Come on, that's when there's a leaky cup. Mugman teased as they ran. Once home, the brothers gathered everyone together. You're all free of the devil's debt, Cuphead announced. And that fiend won't bother us again, Mugman added. The elder kettle was literally brimming with pride as everyone began to cheer. Let's hear it for Cuphead and Mugman. Hip, hip, hurrah. Hip, hip, hurrah. Oh, look at that. Look how happy everyone is. Ugh. You nightmarish sons of bitches make my life hell. But now I see them, I'm like, oh, look, look how sweet they look. Look at the dragon. He was just in a bad mood. And as an all-day celebration began, the brothers promised to never wander into trouble again. And they didn't. Until the next time, of course. But that is another story. And in fact, that other story continues in less than a month from when I'm recording this. And let me tell you... I'm going to be playing that as soon as I fucking can. I'm so glad that I did this in the lead up to the DLC coming out. Because honestly, I'm so fucking ready for it. I feel primed for it. So, just a few more weeks of waiting before we get that... Oh, get that sweet, sweet new cuphead in our hands. And there we go. The end. Oh, holy shit. I'm so sweaty. I'm so sweaty from playing that level so many times over and over. This lovely little dedication here. Our sincere appreciation to the members of our team whose loyalty and creative endeavor made possible this production. Chad and, Jer Chad and Jaren Moldenhauer. Ah. Uh, man. It just it beats the hell out of me every time, but man, every time I'm just so glad that I that I play it, you know? Well, thank you, hey. Everyone who's taken the time to watch this, not only this specific playthrough of Cuphead, not just for this specific game, but as the first piece of gaming content I've ever posted in my life. 
It's something I've wanted to do for a really, really long time. And I was just, I was too nervous to do it. It felt like it was something that no one would care about. Um, and you know what? Who knows how big or small this, you know, venture of my own doing some gaming may be. But honestly, no matter what, it's fine. I'm so, I'm just so glad to be able to share this because honestly, this is one of the, th the things in life that I just love so, so much. And in particular, getting to share with you games that I love so much. That's one of the few things that I decided when I started the channel was that I'm not going to pick anything that I don't actually want to play. Whether it's good for the algorithm or whether it's good for what's trending and whatnot, that's less important to me than sharing things that are at least interesting to me that I actually want to talk about and be excited for. And hopefully you guys get to share in that experience as well. So hopefully that's what you got to have on this side of it. Hopefully seeing me lose some brain cells and some of my sanity was something that gave you a little bit of, uh, of fun to watch. Hopefully gave you a few laughs along the way. So anyway, thank you. Uh, let me, I want a better, a better end screen to final experience. Man, such an amazing team. Especially all the... Uh, all the musicians in particular, obviously everyone's amazing on this team for putting this together, but man, I'm like, the music is so good. And there it is. All right. Hey, thank you everyone so much for watching and listening. My name is Dominic, and I will see you next time.